I think, you know, as you look at intercollegiate athletics, it's always a time for re reflection and a time talking about the past and the future. Today is a day about the future. Uh, we just finished a youth clinic with over 1,200 uh, young, young individuals that were uh, learning the sport of football from, from our current roster of football players. This afternoon, you're going to see a spring game looking to the future, looking to next season and, and beyond of what the Spartans are going to look like. And next to me is the past and the future in Flozell Adams. Um, a man of very few words, but very powerful words, as we've had an opportunity to talk over time. And, and as a student athlete, whether you're, a, you're a, a basketball manager or an unbelievable football player that had an NFL career, you reach a point in time where you look back and you look back and reflect on things that had a, a positive impact on your, on your future and, and on your life. And Flozell's mom, Rachel, obviously had a, a very significant impact, as well as Michigan State University, on, on all that he's accomplished. So today, we're talking about the North End Zone project, uh, a gift of $1.5 million coming from Flozell uh, to this facility, a, faci a facility that will impact not only football, but will be a gathering location for 25 sports, for future Spartans. And I'll let him tell you the reason, but many of you know the reason why that building was being built. With that, I'd like to turn it over to President Simon. Thank you very much. Uh, and to Fozell, thank you for your generosity, for the, the role model you have been as an individual with your passion, your dedication to youth, and the way in which you've represented Michigan State University so well th throughout your career here and in the NFL, and now as a citizen of the world. So thank you very much. I also want to acknowledge that uh, when I sign any letter, whether it's the North End Zone Project or a scholarship in arts and humanities, it's thank you for your support of Team MSU. A gift to one of us is a gift to all of us. The North End Zone Project is not simply important to athletics, it's important to the university because we share in the, in the benefit of the new rooms that will be there, much like we've shared in the benefit of the Huntington Club uh, on the fourth floor of this building. And so it is also important that we have symbols of giving back to the university that are very recognizable. And Flozell clearly fits that, that definition. And so for, for us as the institution, as well as for the project so important to sport, thank you very much and, and we look forward to having you back more often now as a citizen of the world. Mark? Uh, yes, I'd just like to uh, first of all thank Flo for his generous gift. And um, you know, Flo Zell's been back every, every year for our golf outing and he's been um, He's been a guy that, our, that his, his, his teammates have looked up to, literally, um, for quite some time. But uh, he's always been there. He, he's, he was there when I came in 1995. Uh, he had a tremendous career, obviously, in, in college and then a phenomenal career in the NFL as well. But it's what you do with what you have, I think, that's, that makes the ultimate uh, difference. And, um, you know, he's a giver. There's never been any question about that. As we move through the process, you know this this uh, this locker room is a locker room for the future, as Mark said. What, what's more important to me as we move through this is the people that we put in the locker room, and the people that we put in the locker room will will build a future for for Michigan State in so many different ways. And I just want to congratulate him on his gift. Uh, it'll make a huge difference, not just to our current players, but to our players that are coming in the future as well. And it, um, it puts us on par with probably one of the best facilities in the, in the country in this area. So thank you so much, and I'll turn it over to Flo. Yeah, I thought it's, uh, it's North End Zone project. I thought it would be a good idea to uh, make a donation to it so we can move forward with the program. And, uh, you know, it's right like now is a good time as any to be able to do that. And because of, uh, I'm sure you guys seen the old locker room. It was pretty uh, ancient. So... Uh, but uh, everything that's being done right now with the locker room, the stadium, the program, the university is uh, a good step forward into the direction that, you know, the university and Coach D'Antonio, Hollis, as president, uh, that we need to go. So uh, it's 
figure it's a good time to do it, and uh, now it's being done, and uh, we can appreciate the generosity of uh, others as well as contributing to this. And uh, now I'd like to thank uh, Brian and uh, Strayhorn for uh, helping me uh, decision making process that I have to go through with this. And, uh, and uh, you know, it wasn't an easy one, but you know, I, f I felt that from the bottom of my heart, it's a, it's a good decision and it's going to help uh, past, present, and future, like they said, and uh, bringing a lot of good guys that's coming in in the future. and. Uh, so we can be able to do the things we need to do. So uh, to Coach D'Antonio, along with uh, Mr. Hollison, President, you know, do a good job in helping us do everything we need to do to be able to go forward. Well, first of all, I think you have to be able to compare apple, apples to apples when you're looking at facilities and diff at different universities. And, you know, when you have an opportunity now to bring them into an, a locker room like this in a game day atmosphere, when they watch us play, and they visit our players in the locker room before the game. Maybe they see it after the game. They certainly see it in the recruiting room. Um, it'll just be a great gathering place, not just for our program, but for our entire athletic department. And in the end, we continue to work for those. And that'll be the difference. And those type of things, I think, what we're talking about right now with the building of this, of this magnitude can make a huge difference. You know, after I left, I always saw the progressing of how the program's going. And even though I wasn't here, I was watching. And uh, even when I was to Dallas or anything, I mean, literally I would rush off the plane and, and go try to find a television channel or something to find the Spartans playing on. And if we were somewhere they didn't, I would find a way to have the hotel staff find the game. Like, hey, you put that game on. It's like only two minutes left. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> but <laughs> So I watched them over the years. And to talk about the Rose Bowl, I mean, it was a great accomplishment. And uh, when I found out that that we were going, I'm like, start looking online. <laughs> I'm getting my ticket. I'm getting it right now. So it was a great accomplishment for everybody, even uh, former players as well. And I have former teammates that went out there and celebrated as much. I mean, if we could have put on a helmet on the field, we would have done it. But uh, it was a, uh, a good accomplishment. And to win it on top of that was, was great as well. And uh, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit for the Spartans, so we just hope to keep going forward and do the things we need to do. With who? With Steve Smith, then, you know, with the Smith Center. Oh, uh, I knew about Steve Smith's situation, uh, how he donated it was about 15 years ago or whatever, but this is entirely a decision that, that was brought against us. So. Uh, you know, like I told you earlier, we discussed and everything and went through the process. But uh, uh, it made an impact on me because my mother had made a significant uh, uh, process on me coming here because we went to a couple of other schools and visiting. And, you know, on a car ride home, she's like, I don't like that school. I don't like that school. I just don't like it. I'm like, what do you don't like about it? I just don't like it. The vibe doesn't feel good. And I'm going to tell you, uh, I went to Michigan and visited Michigan, and I stepped in that locker room, and that aura, oh, I was like, I'm like, no way. <laughs> I told the coach, I can't remember the coach's name. No, it was Les Miles. Les Miles, I was like, hey, you can scratch me off the books. I'm not coming here. I don't want to come here. So, But uh, she helped me, uh, push me here, and helped me make a good decision, and, and I don't regret it at all, and I'm happy that I made the great decision. And her coming every single game that she can come here on, on the Saturdays was always you know, good for me because I always like any player likes to see their mom in the stands and everything. It's like something you have to prove because uh, she was more than my father. Like, I don't want to get her <laughs> So, uh, and her waiting for me at the locker room at the end of the game was, you know, I always like to see my family after the game. And uh, I can just picture it right now on how it was back then 15, 17 years ago. And it's still a, a constant reminder of, uh, what I went to as a player here, and the contribution that's being made to the locker room is just making it better. Hey, for Will and, and for Mark, you've you talked about establishing and forming these relationships. When you first came here as an assistant, Will Lowe was a player. Can you talk about both of you guys, what your relationship is now, and how it's been over the years? Well, relationship with? With Coach Antonio. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember uh, Coach D, and uh, <laughs> when he was a coach here when I was here. And, I had nothing but utmost respect for him, even though he was on the other side of the ball. Uh, 
you know, no problems, and he's a great coach, and he coached a lot of great players. And and uh, when I, you know, I'm always reading about Michigan State, period, football, and uh, I saw that he was coming here as a head coach. I, I, I did like this. I was like, yes, because I knew that he was going to bring the old school football back to this program that was needed, and uh, I was definitely happy that he had came. Yeah, as far as with, with myself and Flo, I, first of all, I want to point that Jim Bowman was his coach when he was here. And uh, Coach Bowles is over there getting ready for the spring game and everything, but uh, he passes along his congratulations as well. Uh, what you have to understand is the defensive backs, which I coached as an assistant and the offensive linemen, are like two different worlds. So I saw Flo more, more socially than I saw him as a football on the football field, actually, other than the scrimmages. But... Um, as I say, he was extremely well liked by his by his peers, by his by his by the other coaches, and uh, you know when it came time to play, he strapped it on and played. And uh, so proud of him. Every time, as he says, he watches the Spartans. When the Cowboys came on, we were watching the Cowboys, and it was because of Flo Adams. <laughs>